everyone. Today is the first restoration in the big international co-op um, build that we have going on with a couple other modelers that you you watch on a regular basis. Um, started by Time Rider, We Little Cars. Um, him and Matchbox, Nick at Matchbox Restoration and Rob at Maxbox Garage and Nick's Toy Garage and possibly Tony's Diecast Restos. We all have a monthly theme for our restoration and this month is construction. So once you watch mine, I highly recommend you go over there and check out all their different construction restorations that they are doing. And we'll have one of these every month. Um, I hope you guys like it. Um, what I have here is a little Lesney 26A ERF cement mixer. They made these things from 1956 to 1961. They have always been orange in color and they can come with metal wheels, which this one has, or gray or silver plastic wheels. This one's not too bad, and like I say, I probably could either go on the shelf or restore it, but since I've already picked this and I've been advertising it, and I think I can do it justice, I'm going to go ahead and restore this one 100% the best of my knowledge, um, and find a way to drill. I'm going to drill this post just like I do on the Hot Wheels and reattach the cement mixer part but there's not a whole lot to it um as you can see it's got the metal wheels on it and it's got the little crimped axles and thanks to my buddy over at time, time rider uh i got a a way that i'm going to be able to retain the crimped axles and the button heads and like i say this might be a Pretty rare casting to some people, but it is. I, I, I respect it, but I paid five dollars for it with, with a whole bunch of other ones that I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and restore it and try to do it the best justice I can and hope nobody hates me for it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take this baby apart. Okay, we've taken this baby apart. That's funny, isn't it? There's not too much to it. But um, what I'm going to do is... Let's get this out of the way. I'm going to slice these right here in the middle. These axles. And then I have some little stainless steel metal tubing that fits over this. And I'll just cut two pieces in here. And to make them fiddle, and then we'll just short, maybe shorten these a little bit, and then slide them in for in each each end for like pins, and you shouldn't be able to notice it very much. And I think it'll look really nice. And like I say, of course, we'll tap this and put a button hit screw in it, and we'll strip the paint off of this bad boy. So stay tuned. Alrighty, here we have our little bits and pieces. Not too much to this little guy. Um, just the two main body pieces, and these wheels are pretty heavy. They're pretty decent shape. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop these in and try to do like I do with the, with bases. Drop them in some lime away and for about four minutes and clean them up. And then we'll just take a wire wheel to them, and I think these things will look just fine. That's some heavy-duty wheels right there. That's the first one I've seen with metal wheels. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. We even got a tw 26 cast on those wheels. So, And like I said, I just have my shortened axles here. And we'll just stick that in there and look at, and I'll clean up the ends real nice and stick them in the tube and 
it'll look just fine. So let's go over to the stripper table. Here we are at my paint stripper sink. And as you can see, I've stuck these little wheels in a lid of Lime Away. We'll let them sit there for about four minutes. I'm not going to let them sit in there very long and see what happens there. Now, as usual, we have my high-powered pickle juice. I mean, pickled or pickle juice jar. And we'll just dump that in there. Now we'll just take this, dump that in there. Okay. No turning back at all now. There we are. Let's put it on extreme close up. There we are. Let's see how this orange comes off of here. You guys, man, you got to put it in overnight to let the paint strip off. Y'all must be using some kind of weak shit. Because this stuff I have here, I can sit here and bullshit for about two minutes and it falls right off. So, like I say, it's, it's this is some potent stuff. So, I don't, I, I don't like to spend a whole lot of time waiting when I'm doing this other than when the paint's drying. And you know how that is. So, let's see how, as we can see, it's already starting to bubble up. Now, I thought about doing something else, but like I say, this one was already on my website or on my page all week. I don't have a website. I don't have Facebook. Too much drama for me. It's too much of a reality check on how old I actually am. So with all my other friends and their woe, woe is me stuff. So I stick to this and that's all I have. But like I say, I was the construction is cool, but you know, I'm a muscle car guy. I'm a exotic sports car guy, um, trucks, movie cars. So this one here, a little bit different than what I'm used to, but all the same, it's, I'm, I'm, I hope I'm preserving history at my own, what word would I say? I'm very good at brain farting when I talk. Um, preserving history for my own pleasure, I guess you would say, with these little cars. So I watch some of these videos with all these people who have mint stuff that's like from collectors that have probably collected them back in the day or red lines that are just red line hot wheels that are just mint original i hate to think what they pay for them they probably need to get their heads examined for what they pay for them but i mean i probably need to get my heads examined for some of the prices i've been paying for these damn junkers on ebay but you know if you want to have you know cool restoration sometimes you gotta step up if there's something you really want i guess it's cause and demand you know so, there's supply and demand, I should say. Like I say, I brain fart a lot when I'm talking. But, like I say, as we, I've been sitting here, bullshit story here, the paint's ready to come off. So, for all you guys using that weak stuff, Rust Oleum Aircraft Remover, Walmart, $11 goes a long way. So let's scrub these babies off. I have my super thin rubber gloves. They're so thin that you would not, you cannot see them. They're made out of the same material that Wonder Woman's invisible jet was made out of on the Super Friends back in the cartoon in the early 70s Saturday morning cartoons. That's another whole story right there. That, probably never younger guys never heard of Saturday morning cartoon what a great time so this is an interesting thing about this is I'm gonna have to get something to get down in that hole to clean that paint out of there so 
Maybe we'll fill that back up with paint stripper and give it another dose. Either that or find out. I get If the paint's falling right off, this thing's got so many little tiny nooks and crannies. Okay. Nice and clean. The rest of that stuff I can pick off of here with a little bit smaller wire brush. So, see you back at the work. Okay, we are back at the workbench here. Sorry about that. And as you can see, we got this nice little casting looking really swell. And you can see that it says Lesney, England, and Oh, yeah, you can't really see it down in this little itty bitty freaking hole right there. There's a 26. I could barely see it. But as you can see, I went ahead and drilled this little tiny itty bitty stud very carefully and put a self-tapping screw that I use on my Redline Hot Wheels from the Redline shop. It was just a little bit smaller than the, the ones that I use on Matchboxes and later model um, Hot Wheels and Match and um, so this worked out just fine. It was a little, it takes a little bit smaller drill bit hole and I was able to get a nice center punch on there and just take my time drilling it because I only had one chance at this bad boy. It's so small. Um, got the mixing the mixer barrel all cleaned up and ready for primer. Um, all these little cool wheels. I didn't. I was gonna take a wire wheel to them, but once you take them out of the the uh, Lime away, they look and wiped them off. They look pretty damn good. And check out, they got a little 26 on each of them. When I put that together, I'm going to put it outwards, I think. I'll have to look at my close pictures that I took before disassembly to make sure. I took, so I didn't mess anything up. Now, get back here. On these... I just clean those up just the way I do with a piece of steel or with a piece of sandpaper and the, the crimped ends I cleaned with a wire wheel in the end of my drill. Just turn them both on at the same time and let it rip. Clean them right up. I put them on this piece of tape so I don't lose the damn things. And I have this. There it is. K&S. 8101 332nd by 014 round aluminum tube. I get it at Hobby Town. $1.89. And what I'm going to do is you can as you can see, I'll take one of these off of here. Focus. One of these days I'll modernize my camera. So stupid focus. Here we are. And how hard it is to do this behind the camera. And it fits right on there, see? Now, that to me looks pretty damn decent. And thank you, Time Rider, for that tip. What I'll do is I'll mark this off and cut it exact length in there and nobody be the wiser I guess unless a true matchbox collector but on my shelf and my showcase it look pretty damn swell so let me mark these and just out of curiosity or just for show's sake I'll mark these off camera just to save some time but if you got an exacto knife or a you know box cutter whatever um, instead of using a 
grinding wheel, cutoff wheel on these little things and have them go flying everywhere. If you ever do use these axles or tubing, watch this. Just like a pipe fitter, pipe wrench. Bam, nice clean, nice and clean. It doesn't go flying everywhere. So remember that. That's a that's the tip of the day. Stay tuned and I'll make this stuff. Okay, and we're back. And we're here for the review. And there you have it, the number 26A Earth cement mixer with a little bit of American flash. Okay, I'm just kidding. Let's go paint. Here we are at the paint booth again with the little Earth cement mixer. So, got my paint all mixed up here. Give a couple more stirs. Shouldn't take too much, it's a little itty bitty thing. So, that's that. That should be more than enough. I'll save this in case I have to get paint. I think I just hit my camera. I'm sorry for everybody if I bumped you. Alrighty, now. Get an X20 thinner. Get a little mix job. Get more look at it now. This. I was a little leery that this orange might be too dark, but I think I finally, after all that trial and error, I think I got it pretty good. I try to get these things as close as I can to the factory, at least for the colors. going to give it a, what I like to call an old chips painting, paint everything, like they used to do with the stunt vehicles. Paint the bumpers, paint the door handles, paint the moldings, all. Girl shy, paint any car for $99.95. Let's take it back. That drive for a spot.
looking pretty good. Like I say on these little industrial trucks, you gotta just make sure you get it from every angle because if you don't, you'll be like, where the hell did that come from? How did I miss that? Taking me less time to paint this little guy than it was to mix the paint up to paint it. <laughs> oh well. We've got to do this little guy justice. Okay. About at the point where I have to buy another showcase. It's getting kind of full. carousel of progresses because it's been so nice out I've been spending a lot of time outside doing outside work but looking for you, lucky for you YouTube guys it rained tonight so I spent my evening in the basement making these little guys pretty again Now next month we'll have something different and you'll see a different subject that we all agree on. And anybody's got any cool names for it. It's not really a challenge because we're not challenging each other. We're just we're just showcasing everybody's different craftsmanship. A lot of things are the same, but yet a lot of things are different too. And the way these get, the way everybody does it, me and the other guys in the, the international co-op. I can't say the other way. They were saying consortium or something. I don't know what that means. Like I say, it's really cool, and it's really cool for me because I get to converse with you guys all over the world, where otherwise. I never get to talk with anybody like that. So that's one of the big highlights for me. My buddy John down in Tasmania. And the guy Tis Best in Diecast, I, he's from Britain over there and he's very he's he's one of my favorites because he always gives me good information on these things because I can tell you about the Hot Wheels little matchboxes I gotta look up what their just the backstories behind them and I love I'm, I'm the king of useless information so anytime you want to give me any useless information about movie cars TV cars trucks whatever I'm working on feel free to comment so there we have it the little guy is painted earth cement mixer ER, or ERF cement mixer so stay tuned for the bright work Okay, here we are with all the little tiny bits and pieces to this tiny little ERF cement mixer. Everything's all nice and painted and shiny. 
So what I'm going to do is put the wheels back on it and put this on and then we'll have the reveal. So stay tuned. I really got to find out a better way to unveil this stuff. <laughs> Piece of cardboard that I work on. How cheesy. But anyways, our little ERF cement mixer is already on the rotating table here. As you know, it wasn't in that terrible of a condition, but it was, you know, it what it wasn't by far perfect, but I think I did it quite a quite a bit of good justice on restoring this thing. So let me know in the comments if I succeeded in getting it as close as I could to possibly brand new or even maybe bet maybe a little better than brand new. So here it is. Let's get some focus there. There we are. The number 26A ERF cement mixer. This was the very first co co-op international co-op of build all building or build off whatever you want to call it if there's no competition it's just a, a group build among fellow modelers and like i say i want when you get done looking at watching mine go over to time riders we little cap we little cars and you can go to uh Let's see. You can go to Tony's Diecast. You can go to Nick's Toy Garage. You can go to Rob's Matchbox Garage. And you can also go to Matchbox Nick over at Matchbox Restorations. Everybody does great work. And like I say, I hope you enjoyed this. This is a nice little construction vehicle. I think I I think the paint turned out pretty decent as far as matching it goes. Um I almost went the wrong way with putting black in it, but like I say by putting red in it, I think it gave it a little bit deeper orange like that and I used all my orange. I still have a whole bunch of orange left if I want to paint something else this color. But like I say we threw some Tamaya silver for the little accents and we polished up the ends of the wheels. We didn't polish the wheels. These are little metal wheels that we did, we did was soak them in, in a uh, lime away for, I would say probably four minutes. Like I do die cast bases. And we used little, those little pieces of aluminum rod tubing to put this, put these hubs back together. So I have the crimped ends on the other end and the button ends on the other. I didn't have to grind one or the other off. I just put it back together. And like I say, it really is not too terribly noticeable. It just looks like a really polished axle. You can see it when it comes around from the backside right there. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please go check out the other guys group builds. Um, I think you'll be highly pleased and let me know in the comments how I did. And we'll catch you on the next build or restoration or customization, whatever it may be. Have a good evening.